The false prophet is someone that is brought up over and over again throughout Scripture that we are being warned about. Because it is so serious and it is so deceptive and, it, and they can do so much damage. This is why we should not have inherent trust with any man. We trust in the Lord. We trust in God. We trust in God's word absolutely without doubt. But when it comes to a man, you have to be guarded. Yes, no matter who that man is, you know, whether it's me or anybody. Because the, the wolf, you know, a good, a good wolf, they have a good sheep, you know, they have a really good outfit on. It's going to be hard to tell. It's gonna, you know, eventually they get known. Eventually they get found out. But you need to watch out just in general. Um, it, it's a very serious thing. Now, the reason why I'm spending so much time even just kind of explaining all of that is because there is somebody that is exalted by the world that was a Baptist preacher. And from my understanding, it's someone that's exalted and lifted up in Georgia probably more than other places because he is from Georgia. And of course, I'm talking about the wicked Martin Luther King Jr., whose day is set aside tomorrow as a national holiday, which by the word holiday means holy day. It's a day set apart for an extremely wicked son of the devil. And his name is exalted and lifted up and is being taught. I mean, I remember from being taught in school. I was going to grammar school in the 80s and 90s. And, and from that point forward, I, I don't remember the exact date when, when you know, Congress, uh, this, whoever, Congress or the president, whoever decided that there was going to be this national holiday and they're replacing George Washington's birthday with Martin Luther King. I think it was George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. There's like President's Day. It was George Washington. And then I remember there's like, you had George Washington's birthday, you had Abraham Lincoln's birthday. And then they made like President's Day. And then they just made Martin Luther King Jr. That's like they, they did all these moving around. And that all happened while I was going to school. I remember vaguely some of these different days. But uh, I think it was during the Reagan administration. So sometime in the, in the 80s when, when that happened. 1982. Thank you. Do we have someone who knows the date? That's when that happened. So it was 1982. We're in 2019. You know, that's quite a while ago now. I mean, that's almost, that's 30, Five years ago, I, you know, I'm, I'm not doing, I'm probably not doing the math right, 37 years ago. Long time. And people today and in, in schools and everywhere else are just being taught, wow, he was such a great man, he was such a civil rights leader and all this stuff, and they're only going to tell you, wow, this guy was so great, we need to just make a holiday for this person because he was just someone that needs to be lifted up, someone that needs to be exalted. And that's all you hear about him. That's all I ever heard about him. Is only just, wow, this is just some great guy. He was a piece of trash. Now, if that offends you, you might have been brainwashed into thinking lies about him or just thinking that he was so good or you just haven't heard the full truth about him. If you are a Bible-believing Christian, you ought to have zero respect for that person. I don't care what he's done in any civil rights issue at all, because what he's done does not outweigh any of his wickedness. Being a Baptist minister, Baptist pastor, and, and the, the, the lies and the disgrace and the reprobate that he was, he was a, he was a wicked person. We're going to get into some of that. But I started off with Jeremiah chapter 23 because we see here, you know, these prophets that have dreams. And of course, you know, Martin Luther King Jr. is known for his famous speech, you know, I have a dream. And there's nothing inherently wrong, you know, nothing inherently wrong in that very short, you know, the speech that he made, oh, I have a dream, you know, in general. I'm not saying that that specific, ser you know, to call a sermon, speech, whatever you want to call it, was just inherently evil or bad. Okay, there's nothing that, that I could think of that he said in that speech that was just like, oh man, this is just bad.
But what he did, and this is just indicative of what he did, he preached just, just out of his heart, but he's, but he's speaking as a Baptist minister. And I'm, not, I'm also not saying that, that preachers can't get involved in politics or social issues. I'm not saying that at all. But this person had no respect for the Lord and abused the word of God. And we're going to get into what he believed and we're going to get into a few other things about that man and just uncover some of these truths about him just so you get the full picture and then you can decide for yourself whether what I'm saying is right or not. Because I, I'm making this statement. Martin Luther King Jr. was a wicked man and a false prophet and he's burning in hell right now.